Welcome to an episode from Mathverse, and today we'll be talking about different types of triangles. First though, let's get a little bit of introduction to triangle. What I've got here is a triangle named A, B, and C, so we can call this as triangle A, B, C. The three main points that I'd like to discuss, um, the first point is a triangle is a three-sided polygon. A polygon is a two-dimensional figure that has a finite number of line segments and has a closed path. Um, for example, let's take an octagon, a pentagon, a rectangle, a hexagon. All of these are polygons and of course, triangle is also polygon. A triangle has three sides or three edges. So in this triangle, AB, BC and AC are the three sides or the edges of the triangle. A triangle has three angles or vertices. In this triangle, angle A, angle B, and angle C are the three angles or vertices of the triangle. The sum of all the angles in a triangle is 180 degree. That is, angle A plus angle B plus angle C is equal to 180 degree and this property of the triangle is known as the angle sum property and all of the triangles follow this property. Triangles can be essentially classified based on two properties. First by the length of the sides and second by the measure of the angles. First let us look at the triangles that can be classified based on the length of the sides. The first triangle is the equilateral triangle name itself is pretty sort of descriptive. Um, equi itself means equal, so as the name says, all of these sides and angles in the equilateral triangle are equal. And each of the angles in an equilateral triangle is 60 degrees. That is, side AB, side BC, and side AC are equal. And angle A, angle B, and angle C are equal to 60 degree. The next triangle that I'll be looking at is isosceles triangle. In an isosceles triangle, only two sides and two angles are equal. That is, in this triangle, side AB and side AC are equal to each other. And since these ang sides are equal, the angles opposite to these sides need to be equal as well. So angle B is equal to angle C. Now the last and final triangle in this category is the scalene triangle. In a scalene triangle, all the angles and all the sides are not equal to each other. That is, this side is not equal to this side as well as this side. So obviously since the sides of the triangle are not equal, the angles that are opposite to the sides are also unequal. That is, this angle is not equal to this angle and also this angle. Now let's move on to the next category of triangles, that is, triangles based on the measure of the angles. In this category, we've got three triangles as well. The first one is the right angle triangle. In a right angle triangle, one of the angle is 90 degree and the sum of two sides of the triangle is equal to the side opposite to the 90 degree angle. Over here in this triangle, this is the 90 degree angle. Uh, we can observe that AB and BC are perpendicular to each other, so this is where the 90 degree angle is formed. We can see that AC is the side opposite to the 90 degree angle, so this is known as the hypotenuse. So according to the Pythagoras theorem, AB square plus BC square is equal to AC square. We're looking at the Pythagoras theorem in depth in the later videos, but for now, you just need to understand that in a right angle triangle, AB square plus BC square is equal to AC square. That is, the squares of the two sides of the triangle is equal to the square of the hypotenuse of the triangle, and that side is the side opposite to the 90 degree angle. The next triangle we're looking at is obtuse angle triangle. An obtuse angle triangle, one of the angles is greater than 90 degree. So over here in this triangle, 
angle B is greater than 90 degree. So don't confuse between obtuse angle triangle and the right angle triangle. Right angle triangle is a triangle in which one of the angle is equal to 90 degree. An obtuse angle triangle is a triangle which has one of the angle to be greater than 90 degree. So obviously, since one of the angle is greater than 90 degree, there are two angles, that is angle A and angle C will be acute ang angles, that is less than 90 degree. And also, one point I'd like to tell in the right angle triangle is that since this is 90 degree, and we know that some of all the angles in a triangle is 180 degree, so angle A and angle C will obviously be less than 90 degree. The next triangle we'll be looking at is the acute angle triangle. In an acute angle triangle, all of the angles are less than 90 degree. That is, angle A, angle B, and angle C is less than 90 degree. So that pretty much wraps up everything about the different types of triangle. Hope this video has helped you. For more videos, you can check out the YouTube channel. And if you like the videos, please comment, rate.